Francisco. Now we're ready to create our first contract plan sheet. Make sure you use the correct seed file once again. And we're going to have to name this according to the CAD naming convention, which is contained in the CAD manual section 2.1. And you can see the for layout is EA. So you put that on the end of your project number. And then go ahead and append on the sheet sequence number. And now open the design file. Now we're going to go ahead and reference in the clip frame file. Use copy attachment method. In Quimson World. Fit view and go ahead and rotate by two points your view using the first clip frame. Now you can attach your border file. And in this case, we're going to use the top attachment method. Visually place it by eye, and then go ahead and move the attachment using the uh, reference point that's built into the border cell, and go ahead to put it to the corner of the clip frame. Now we can go ahead and place our match line. We'll go ahead and select the proper line code for the match line, and of course use the proper line style scale. Also make sure you're on the correct level for match line. Okay. And now let's go ahead and, and define a fence uh, using our minimum clip area shape. And uh, now do a clip boundary of all those files that we have referenced, except for the border file. Data point to accept. Use an active fence method. Then we're now turning off the level for the clip area. Now we're ready to put in the, the border information, such as seat, sheet title and scale and cheat code number. Once again, following CAD standards, proper text height and font and level. I mean, that looks fairly good. We have everything kind of centered. It looks good on the sheet. And now we can go up to the location block area and check that everything looks good there. Okay. And uh, go ahead and do a safe settings. And we're done with the first sheet. And this is pretty much is the same method you're going to be using for uh, every subsequent sheet in your project. And this concludes this video.